you might be wondering what I'm doing underwater. Here are my top 10 favorite mounts. Starting off with one, which I really didn't have a choice in, so he's the only honorable mention, which is the Dark Moon Skate, the Dark Water Skate. So yeah, there is one rule, only one rule, I need to have the mounts, so each year this list can change. So next up, number 10. At number 10, we have the Twilight Harbringer mount, which you can get from Glory of the Dragon Soul Raider. Yeah, it's a really nice looking one. And I don't have the Blazing Drake yet, so he is pretty decent. So yeah, that's number 10. At number 9, we have the Drake of the East Wind. Which you can get from the achievement Glory of the Cataclysm Raider. It's real nice. It's only one of the four East Northwest Wind Drakes that I have. I'm close to the West. Wait, no. Or is it the East? No, wait, I have the East. I believe it's the North one. But you need to get Paradin, Swarden, Srap, Exalted, and 200 tokens. Also, pretty, pretty decent and nice to look at. So yeah, on to number 8, on number 8, there's only one mount that can shout out. That can shout out, you know how to kneel. This one is from the glory of the Firelands Raider, and there is only one hard achievement. Which is finding eight people, no, five more people that know how to kneel. That's the actually the hardest achievement of getting it. It's it's finding people that kneel. So next one. This is why I made an honorable mention. Next one is also new in the game. Here we see Earth. We see wind. This one came from the lands of fire. There's only one thing. Next mount is deep, deep from within the seas. Which is the button, the bright deep button feeder. The closest thing towards a shark in this game. It's a really nice mount. So I could not choose which one for underwater mounts I had rather. That's why the dark water skate has been in my honorable mentions. So yeah, I really love this mount. It's a bit of a farm to get it. Once you get it, you, in, you will enjoy this mount. It's good to explore in the reefs, other places. It's good for exploring if you've never been to some places underwater. Now, we get to number six. Out of the waters and into the sky. The blue dragon hawk. The mount you get for collecting 100 mounts. I really, really like this mount. I think the alliance one kind of looks a little bit better than the fourth one, which you also get. So, except the alliance one is blue ish, bluish with 
greenish things. And the other one is a little bit reddish, but not that kind of red that shout out lords. So I like the blue one, which you get from 100 mounts. Now we enter top 5. For number 4, we rise from the dead into the cold, the glory of the Ice Crown Raider Mount. 25th edition. It's also the last glory of the Raider or glory of the dungeon mount in my favorite list. It's so cool as on that with the blue glaze in its mouth, eyes, stomach, with the piercing. It's such a cool mount to have. And I actually fly around a lot with it. But there's only one more flying mount that is more epic than this one, in my opinion, that I have. At number two comes the S the Astral Cloud Serpent which sets the legends that a star will be named after you once you loot it. I was able to get this mount by chance helping someone out to do a to a raid and it dropped and I rolled higher. This mount is so so, so beautiful, so cool, and immediately deserved a spot in my top 3. But from water, from air, we now must go to land. And we will land on that land. The Goblin Glider is not a mount. My top two, number two, is the Legion Collector's Edition mount, which looks so cool. I mean, it's it's like a Demon Hunter mount. It's like that. It, it's so cool. I mean, how, what can I? What much? What more can I say about it? Th this is so cool. When I saw this mount, I immediately decided I wanted to get the collector's edition of Legion. Wasted all my money on it. Was it worth it? Yeah, was was worth it. This mount is so 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 cool. And on number one, a mount that shouts out my name, the Gorehound, which was only gettable of its 10th anniversary. This mount is a Hellhound. My name is a Raging Hellhound. One plus one equals a two-headed hellhound mount. Bam! It's the best mount ever. Plus, it's like you feel like you're sitting up really high, and the world is small. Even these skitty cats are afraid of me. They just stand here. There's no enemies over there. They just want to get this beast away from their kingdom because they're so afraid of it just look how terrified those skitty cats are in front of my hellhound if you don't behave he will eat you and those were my top 10 pounds thanks for watching